Keep quiet, says the ruminant stomach. The ruminant stomach is made up of four compartments. The rumen, the reticulum, the omazon, and the abomazon. The rumen has two parts. The visceral part and the parietal part. The visceral part is the right part and the parietal part is the left part. Here is the spleen. The spleen is always located dorsally and on the left side. On this specimen, the incision is made on the dorsal sac. The rumen is divided into dorsal and ventral sac by right and left longitudinal groups. The right longitudinal groove is more prominent than the left one. Here is the right longitudinal groove. It divides the rumen into dorsal sac and the ventral sac. Dorsal sac of the rumen and the ventral sac of the rumen. The right longitudinal groove gives us two branches. The dorsal coronary groove and the dorsal coronary groove, this is the dorsal sac and the ventral coronary groove. The dorsal is very deficient, it's not prominent. And again, caudally, we have our caudal groove, caudal groove, which divides the two caudal blind sacs. Here, the blind sac, the caudal blind sac on the dorsal sac is the caudal dorsal blind sac. The caudal blind sac on the ventral sac is called caudal ventral blind sac. In sheep and gout, the caudal ventral blind sac, as you can see, it is larger than the caudal dorsal blind sac. Caudal dorsal blind sac, where the spleen is located. <coughs> Don't be misled with the incision. In some of the specimens, the incision was made on the ventral part. Try to locate your spleen. Caudal dorsal blind sac, caudal ventral blind sac. Then these groups are presented inside as pillars or folds. Here, here is your cranial pillar. The caudal group, the cranial group is outside. This is your caudal pillar. The caudal pillar. Then you have your right longitudinal groove, pillar. right longitudinal pillar, mm -hmm. and your right accessory pillar. In between them is the insular ruminis, mm -hmm. your insular ruminis. This is your left longitudinal pillar, left longitudinal pillar. The right, the cranial pillar, divide the cranial part of the rumen into your cranial sac, otherwise called the atrium ruminis, and the recessus ruminis. The recessus ruminis. While the caudal pillar divide the caudal part of the rumen into our caudodosal blind sac and caudoventral blind sac. Here is the op orifice, the opening between the rumen and the reticulum, called rumino reticular orifice. Ruminal reticular orifice. It is, it is guarded by ruminal reticular groove. Ruminal reticular groove. Here is the cardia. The entrance of the esophagus is the cardia. It is the common opening for both rumen and our reticulum. It opens into the into the atrium ventriculi. The space here. Here, the, the reticulum. You can see it's, the lining is different from that of the rumen. Here are the papillae, and here is the lining of the reticulum, honeycomb. Here are the permanent crest. The ones, the crests that are very prominent are the permanent crest. You can see very less prominent crest here is the secondary crest. All these places are called the cells. You can see the papillae are both on the floor of the cell and also on the crest. We have a long gastric group that runs all start from the cardia down up to the abomazon. When, when this gastric group enters into the reticulum, which is the most cranial part of the stomach, 
ruminant stomach located between the diaphragm and the rumen. When it enters, when the gastric group enters into the reticulum, it becomes reticular groove. Reticular groove. Then, when it enters into the homosome, it becomes homosal groove. And when, this, when the gastric group enters into the abomasome, it becomes abomasal groove. The space between the reticulum and the abomasome, the opening, is the reticulo abomasal opening. Reticulo abomasal opening. Reticulo omasal opening. I mean, between reticulum and omasum. Reticulo omasal opening. The reticulum, the omasum, and the reticulum. The omasum is small, is smaller than the reticulum in sheep and gout. But in ox, the omasum tends to be larger than the reticulum. This is the omasum. We can see the lining. We can see like pages of book or piles. It may be called many piles. This muscular folds we are seeing are called lamina, umaza lamina. Group of them, group of them is called umaza lamini. Umaza lamini. Just when only one is tagged, lamina, omaza lamina. Two or more than two, omaza lamina. In between each lamina is the interlaminar recesses. Interlaminar recesses. Then we can see one long band of muscle here. It is called the omazal pillar. It crosses the omazon. Omazal pillar, omazal pillar. Then, as we have told in the area, omazal groove. Then this is the largest, the largest of the omazal laminae. We unite to form omazal canal. Omazal canal. Usually, food materials that are found in between this in the recessive, in the interlaminal recesses, it tend to be harder because main function of the omazon is to absorb the water content. Then here at the omazo abomasal opening, we have the vela abomasica. This is where the vela abomasica is located. It's the vela abomasica. It's the, it's the mucosal fault that is that flank the omazo abomasal opening, vela abomasica. Then after passing the omazon, now we are done with the four stomachs. The four stomach. Rumen, reticulum, and omazon comprises the four stomach. While here is the abomazon. Stop.